lights and flashing across the sky Like the swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow Like a mighty cannonball he seems to fly You'll hear about him everywhere you go The time will come when everyone will know the name of Kenyon Thunder Sky, Chuka. We are friends and brothers. Always. Welcome. There is big trouble coming. Peace no longer sets in the teepees of my people. What kind of trouble? My brother knows Longhorn, our medicine man. Longhorn is not my brother. He talks war against the white man. But you're the chief. The tribe follows your counsel. Longhorn has won an evil power. He's found a Kachina. A Kachina? What's that? Long, long ago, my people prayed to bad gods. A Kachina was their sign. Longhorn tells it is a war sign. He tells it is a sign we must fight the white men, or the old gods will come back and destroy us. My braves bleed him. They fear the old magic. What does this Kachina look like? It is a skull, older than the mountains, like a horse, but not a horse. Well, if this is the only thing that gives Longhorn power, can't you take it from him? He hides it in the cave where he found it. We search, but there are many caves. And we cannot find the right one. My people must not take the war path. It's too late to drive out the white man. We must learn to live in peace. I come to my white brother because I know he is the Indian's friend. My brother can help. How, Thunder Sky? Bring in blue coats. Cavalry? It's that bad? My people hear my words. But Longhorn's power grows. The ground will run with blood if blue coats do not come. All right, I'll telegraph the territorial government right away and tell them of the Kachina and the danger. The danger is great to my people. like we all have reason to be worried. I'll tell you as soon as I finish this telegram.
Vicki, Thunder Sky and Chuka haven't been heard from for two days since they left here. You think Longhorn... I know what Longhorn's doing. The telegram came from the government. Are they sending cavalry? You can send cavalry on the stage. Listen to this. Order to investigate matter of Kachina arriving Friday's stage, Baxter. What's well, today? Who's Baxter? I don't know, unless they're sending some officer to make sure it's serious. Well, what officer won't help? No, not even a full colonel. Look, you go hitch up the buckboard and go meet the stage. I've got to try and find out what happened to Thunder Sky and Chuka. Right away, Uncle Sandy. not. And perhaps you can tell me who and where Mr. Sandy North is. Is your name Baxter? See here, young man, I don't like your tone of voice. I am Professor Simeon Baxter. Professor? But we sent for soldiers. I told them. I told them at the Capitol. Indian uprisings are not stopped by a paleontologist. Pale pa Sandy North, my uncle. You better explain to him. To me, it's obviously a horse. I can't explain it right now, but when he gets like this, it means there's something wrong that he wants me to see. You'll have to excuse me, Professor. It may have something to do with the Indian trouble. Uh, what am I to do? Well, just stay here. I'll leave Rebel with you. Rebel, you stay. again when Pony take Chuka to camp. Make horse go. Wait. Golly, it's Longhorn and Chuka. Shoot to frighten Paleface boy. We are not ready for final step till war council meet.
How is he, Uncle Sandy? Well, he's going to be all right, but he'll need help. Where's the buckboard? Down on the road. We'll get it, and we'll take him to the ranch. Come on, Jim. And so, when your message arrived, they decided to send me. Because you said the uprising was based on finding an ancient skull. And I happen to be a paleontologist. Excuse me, Professor, but what's that? A student of fossils, historic and prehistoric. Uh, a specialist, you might say, in the significance of old bones. Well, that might be a big help if we could ever find the Kachina. But I thought I made it clear to them that we're in trouble if we don't get army protection. They've branded him. Oh, it's all right now, Chuka. You're safe. Is that a representation of the Kachina? Yeah, it must be. Then I think I know what it is. A rare find and a most exciting one. The skull of a Marapus ungulate. Well, that's something I never heard of. It's an animal with a body like a bear, three-toed, clawed feet, and a head much like a horse. Gosh, Professor. There's nothing like that around here. Well, there was uh, 17 million years ago. And aside from the immediate problem, a prize of great scientific interest. Nobody knows where to look for it, though. Are you sure it's in the cave where the medicine man found it? Thunder Sky said it was. Then with a bit of luck, I could possibly find that cave. You could? How? By looking for a rock structure that matches the time the beast existed. Professor, if there's even an outside chance of your finding this thing, your scientific knowledge might save more lives than the cavalry by stopping this uprising before it begins. You tell us where to look and we'll find it. <clears throat> Very well. All you have to do is to find strata or rock layers of the uh, Miocenic period of the Cenozoic era, huh? Gosh, Professor, <laughs> whatever that means, you're the only one that understands it. I should like to help, but I'm not sure I'm physically fit for the effort. It's all right now, Chuka. I told you you're safe. Ricky. Sandy. Where is Thunder Sky? In the cave of the Kachina. Longhorn took us prisoner. Well, my father would not call a war council. Longhorn branded me with the sign of the Kachina to make him suffer for me. My father did not give in. He will never call our people to war. And for this, Longhorn will kill him. Not if we get to that cave in time. Well, if they took you to the cave, you must know where it is. No. They did not let me see it. And at the end, Longhorn hit me. I remember nothing. Professor, if Longhorn kills Thunder Sky, there will be war and nothing can stop it except your scientific knowledge. Very well. Whenever you're ready, Mr. North, we'll look for the cave. Thanks, Professor. It's took our life. No more, answer, no question. You call a war council, you go free. You have my answer. We must live in peace with the white man. I hate white man. All the gods are much stronger than him. Our tribe, no. They ready to follow me. No, Longhorn, not yet. If that were so, you wouldn't ask me to call a war council. They will follow me when they see, oh God, have given me your scalp to hang before my teepee. And scalp of Chuka. I will give up my life and my son's life rather than lead our people to their death. Our people will live, but you will die. You will die when flame burn low as my knife. Chuka die too. Then Chuka is alive. He die soon. Then brains obey me and Kachina of all God. Well, I guess it's no use, Chuka. The white medicine man thinks this is the right ground. Well, it may be the right ground, but we've covered an awful lot of territory without finding the cave. Ricky, over here. Let's go, champ. Professor Baxter's sure now. 
He says this ridge is honeycombed with caves where the Kachina could have been buried. Did you find the entrance? No, but he says... <laughs> I will see what Red will find. We should watch for anything that might be a cave, even a little one. You, not knowing a Marapa's ungulate from an ordinary steer bone. Say, you tell the professor Chuck and I'll crawl into any hole big enough to hold us if we find one. All right. I have found something that may lead to a maze of caves. Gosh, the Kachina cave, maybe? The only way to find out is to explore it. Well, it's pretty small. I better go in first. Decidedly not. There may be an element of risk, and I must inspect the strata on the interior. Well, maybe I should get Uncle Sandy. But not yet. Let us make sure first. Let's get down here. Uh. Oh, uh, Ricky, get me my pickaxe, will you please? Excuse me, please. Wonderful! The 
The white stranger believe in Kachina, too? No, it's not a Kachina to him. It's something else. Professor, we've got to try to get out right away. Yes, of course, but where is the cave entrance? Slowly, my friend. The entrance is behind that stone ridge, and there will be guards outside, and we are not armed. But it doesn't matter now. We have the symbol of power. And besides, your friend Longhorn would scarcely dare attack a representative of the government. I don't know about Longhorn. The devil has entered into his spirit. He will dare anything. Well spoken, Thunder Sky. Longhorn dare anything. But she hear you. Grab pale face fools with the I warned you the government sent me. Listen well, Thunder Sky. You ask for blue coats. White father send one old man. Now Cochina give him to me. You want more proof of power of Cochina over white man? It was not the Cochina. Our people will believe. Look at Flame. Your time now, Thunder Sky. You call war council? No. Then you will be first sacrificed to all God in many moons. Come down, you fuck. Something has happened to Ricky, Juga. Tracks. Ricky and Professor. You know, that rock is covering what might be an entrance. Perhaps Herbal has found something. Well, I hope it's not another shin bone. Longhorn's men, Sandy. This might be our break, Chuka. Where is it? I had to use it as a weapon. Great loss to science. Unless I can restore it. My father! All is well now, Chuka. alive. 
and flash across the sky. Like the swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will 